taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber with another video, guys. We're going to do an update on Zen Network or Zen Crypto. So I keep calling it Zen Network. It's actually Zen Crypto. But Zen Crypto or Zen, let's just call it Zen. Um, it had a price pump from when I spoke about it in the previous video. Um, you'll see that we were down here at 0.00001353. The target I said in this video was uh, there was a resistance around this area which you can't really see from here. Um, we had a target between this level and this level up here. We smashed through that level, okay? So this was the first target. It's actually pulled back to, uh, to that target now um, as a support at the moment, potentially, right? And um, it actually broke past this level over here. In fact, maybe I should just mark out these levels. I tend not to mark them out uh, lately because, you know, I could just see these things um, without marking them out. Okay, guys. But, um, yeah, these are the two levels we were looking at. Okay. And um, you can see it actually smashed through that level. And it is not held this level. Okay, but it is coming down to potentially hold this level as support. Uh, but, yeah, uh, great trade there. Uh, very pleased with the price action. Um, it just goes to show guys, uh, there's demand for this token. You see the volume is pretty hefty over here. I saw uh, something about uh, OKX. Now it's not a confirmation of a listing, uh, but uh, Jack Levin, the founder of Zen, he says here, any OKX users here, which I think he's probably hinting that this is going to get listed on OKX. You can see it's not already on OKX. It is on Huobi Global. It's on Poloniex. We know it's on MEXC, which is the first exchange listing. Of course, it's on Uniswap with various liquidity pairs. And OKX would be a good addition because uh, the volume is pretty high over there. It's in the multiples of billions, I believe, um, on a daily basis. So, um yeah, an OKX listing would be pretty bullish for the token. We know that the NFTs, which we covered in the previous video, we covered the NFTs or the Zen, uh, the Zen NFTs, which uh, are proof of burn NFTs. So when you mint your Zen, if I can find it, when you mint your Zen into an NFT, um, there we are. When you mint your Zen into an NFT, um, it basically burns the Zen right and um, then obviously once your zen mint is done you can claim your um no sorry i think you can mint an nft i don't I, i'm not sure whether it I, I don't know all right some of you probably know a little bit better i haven't watched too many videos on it i know it's a proof of burn nft and you can mint zen or stake zen and turn it into nfts or whatever right uh, but that is basically removing zen from circulation so that is bullish in terms of tokenomics um the actual supply at the moment I'm not sure what the actual supply is. We need to, well, it's across different chains, so let's not even bother trying trying to figure out what the supply is at the moment. I believe it's in the multiples of billions, however. Um, but yeah, once tokens start being burnt, we'll probably see the price, uh, you know, come up because of supply shock and so on. Um, you know, one of the things that's bullish about Zen is that people that are minting it, uh, they're getting it for free, right? And um, I, I'm not sure what there is to hate about Zen. I see hexagons that don't like Zen for some reason. I mean, Zen is free, just like Bitcoin was free, just like Hex was free, just like many other tokens that we've seen bullish gains on were free. Um, it's not a cash grab. It's uh, it's fair. It's um, decentralized. Um, it's not a security. Uh, there was no profit to be made from minting it, for example. Um, you know, everything about Zen is pretty good right so what there is to hate about Zen if you're looking at the chart and you're talking about all oh, the Zen prices falling all the way down I mean that's only come from people making a profit like people uh, that, that's come from people um, making money out of thin air right so you know somebody somewhere has benefited from the production of Zen right so what is there to hate about that we haven't lost money we've spent gas so with the price falling down it's not really something to frown out um it's really something to take advantage of right because of the potential demand for the token and like we can see here i think if we do a measured move from the bottom i'm sure it's close to a 10x gain for anyone who's buying 
Zen down here if they sold the top. Okay, 850% approximately, right? So that is a pretty, a pretty good thing, right? If you were one of the people that bought Zen down here, you might be making videos talking about how much you love Zen and how much, you know, how, how easy it was to, you know, kind of buy it and just make a profit, right? So right now, I think that after this pullback, we'll probably get a second wind, hopefully, okay? Or it could just crash all the way down, we don't know. Um, I have bought a bunch of Zen, and um, I got it for a decent price, right? I got it for a decent price. And, um, you know, I think that, that holding on to it right now while we're, while we're at a super low market cap of under under 7 million, right? I mean, I mean, you know, what is the potential for Zen, right? Could it go into the hundreds of millions? I believe that's probably a, uh, a sure thing, all right? Not financial advice or anything like that. Do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. But, you know... Uh, Six million market cap is nothing, guys. 100 million market cap, 200, 300 million market cap will be nothing for something like this with the amount of demand, with the amount of bullishness. With these NFTs coming to market, with new exchange listings and, you know, additional trading volume being added to the chart, when that happens, all that sort of stuff, more people finding out about it. The fact that people have got to wait ages and ages and ages just to get a decent bag if they're minting it for free, uh, or they've got to create so much wallets, right? It is going to be time consuming, it's going to be work, right, but uh, you can literally just come and buy it, now it's like, why build a business if you can buy it, sometimes, like, right, that's Facebook, for example, is it Facebook, yeah, Facebook, when they, you know, they could build, they could have built a Snapchat, or built a Instagram, or built a, you know, WhatsApp, or whatever, but it's like, why build it when you can buy it, it's already there, you can buy it, okay, and um, I know it might be a pretty extreme example, right, but, you know, why wait, uh, a year to mint of 300 plus days 500 days to mint a couple of million zen when you can buy a couple of million zen right now for peanuts right so i think that that is gonna cause the price of zen to explode potentially and um you know i've talked about hundreds of millions in market cap i believe that zen could potentially reach the billions in market cap it reminds me of hex the way that was as well so i'm not sure why hex haters hate uh, sorry, Hex lovers hate Zen, right? Because uh, you can own a bag of Zen too. You don't have to sell your Zex. You don't have to sell your Hex for Zen. So why not own both? All right, guys. So I just wanted to make this video, do an update. Price is looking bullish or at least did a nice little pump to uh, around 0 0.00006. And um, it is back down to 0 0.00002, uh, just under 0 0.03. But um, yeah, I think that there's uh, potentially more upside. This will, if you talked about Elliott wave theory, for example, this would be a one wave, and we could potentially see a three wave and a five wave potentially, right? So um, yeah, called it. Um, looking good, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like the video; that will help with the YouTube algorithm. YouTube will begin to recommend my content to people who may not have seen it otherwise. That being said, it's the end of the video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in the very next one.